Hello and welcome to my summer practice journal week number five. It's crazy to think that we're already on to week five, but here we are. This week, most of my time will be allotted to teaching at the YSI Keller camp, so I don't have a whole lot of time to practice. So for this week number five, there will be some changes. I usually get around an hour and a half to three hours of practice in each day, but for this week, I'm gonna limit myself to 30 minutes just for a healthy balance of work and practice time. I'm going to set a timer every day for 10 minutes of warm up, 10 minutes of excerpt slash liqueur, and 10 minutes of solo repertoire time. This week, my goals are to get my double tonguing up to around 110 BPM, and then learn and perform liqueur number 20 at around 88 BPM. For my military band excerpt of the week, I want to learn and perform Bousset's La Art La Sienne. And then in terms of repertoire, I'll be continuing work on tableau movement number five, which I'll be working towards the end and then speeding up the whole thing. I'm not really sure what tempo we'll get to, but my goal is to get around 112 to 120. I'm looking forward to seeing how much I can get done with limiting myself only 30 minutes of practice per day. So let's get started. Like I said, this week we're setting a 10 minute timer for fundamentals, 10 minutes for etudes and military band excerpt time, and 10 minutes for repertoire, so tableau movement five. And even though we only had 10 minutes, I wanted to start things off with some long tones. Something that fits really well in these 10 minute time slots are overtones. With overtones, you never really want to spend too much time on them anyways, just because you don't want to bruise and hurt your soft palate. As you can hear, I'm really testing my boundaries with the voicing aspect of the overtones, trying to bend them down and get them in tune with the fundamental. This is something I really couldn't do a few years back, and it's really cool to see the progress that I'm making that I'm able to voice these down. One thing that I really want to hit for next week is scales. I sort of want to throw all the other fundamentals out in the back for a little bit and just grind out some scales at slower tempos and slowly speed them up. I really feel uncomfortable when it comes to technique at the moment and it's very evident when I'm working on the etude and tableau movement five. The biggest struggle for me is when I get into the fourths, especially a harmonic minor fourths. I know them, but it's been a while, and just keeping them consistent and under my fingers is very tricky. Today was the first day on the core number 20, and it is constant 16th notes, and the top end tempo is 104, so I started here today at around 60, and as I got to working, I was just doing the first page, and since I only had 30 minutes, I was sort of going as quickly as I could with still being consistent with the reps. Remember, it's always about clean and good reps at a slower tempo, so that once you speed it up, it feels familiar. I think here I bumped it up to 66 just because I felt good with the whole first page. And then since I had a little bit of extra time in my 10 minute slot, I moved on to the Bouzet military band excerpt of the week. I really like this one, it's very pretty, and there's a lot to do with vibrato and when to use it and when not to use it. This section of Tableau is all about pacing. You start off slower and sort of a chell into a faster tempo, and then as you get to the end of the phrase where it starts to turn into a chromatic lick, you slow back down as you get into the second phrase.
and then towards the end of my 10 minutes, I worked on some of the cadenza. With this cadenza, it's all about fluidity, and when the chord changes in the arpeggios, you really don't want to make it obvious that it does change, so just being fluid throughout the whole range of the horn is key. Today at YSI, it was Tacky Tourist Day, so that's why I've got the Hawaiian shirt on. Today I started things off with some 28 day warm up book. Even though I play a little bit throughout the day while I'm teaching the kids at YSI camp, it's nice to start things off with some long tones. I've been starting my double tongue each day higher and higher. I think today I started at around 92, and then I was just working up to my max, and each day bumping it up two to four clicks. I did some more scale work today, and like I said yesterday, I want to make this more of a everyday thing. I know we should do our scales every day, but especially this week, I didn't have a ton of time, and I was sort of feeling insecure about my technique. For day number two of LaCour 20, I started it on page number two, working at around 60 BPM and then getting it up to 66. As the weeks have gone by, I've noticed that my sight reading for these etudes has gotten better, especially at these slower tempos at around 60, I'm able to just glance my eyes across the page and sight read pretty much all of it the first try. It just starts to get a little tricky as we bump up the tempo just because I can't sight read as fast and especially when we're not spending as much time on these etudes, like about a week as I've been doing, um, you're not as familiar with it. As you see here, I'm sort of moving my way towards the back end of Tableau. It starts to recap on the back page, but there's some slight variation with some pretty nasty spatula technique in the left pinky. Starting off Wednesday, I was really proud of myself for getting my saxophone out today just because we've had three days of teaching at the YSI camp and teaching all day long is very tiring. So getting out the horn and working for only 30 minutes is a big accomplishment. As you hear, my endurance is not as good as I would like it to be, and I think that's going to be a big focus for next week, is working on consistency on one singular note with lots of endurance. I didn't play this Bouzet excerpt every single day just because it's not too difficult, but each day I worked on a little bit of a chunk of it and was just planning out where I was using vibrato and how much dynamic contrast I wanted, especially in the end when it goes up to forte and relaxes down to a pianissimo. Ending Wednesday, I was not too worried about this Lacour number 20, and I actually thought it was one of the easier ones I've done. But you'll see as we finish out the week, that sort of turns on its head.
even though the section in Tableau 5 varies in tempo, it is nice to work on these sort of sections with a metronome at a consistent tempo. Unfortunately, for Thursday and Friday, I was busy teaching at YSI camp all day, and then for Thursday, we had a guest in town, so we went out to dinner with them, and then on Friday, we had our concert where I was fortunate enough to conduct the top octet through uh, Overture to Ruslan and Ludmila by Mikhail Glinka, which I have a link on YouTube, which I'll link at the top of the screen here. That was a lot of fun, but we were unfortunate to not be able to practice those two days, so we came into Saturday a little bit rusty. Here is sort of my final performance of the week of the Bouzet excerpt. As we worked our way into the liqueur number 20, I found myself having some consistency issues, especially while working up the tempo. I sort of had the feeling at this point that I wasn't going to be able to make it to 88, but we were going to try our best to keep it at 80 BPM. And then here's a run of the middle chunk of tableau number 5. Even if we weren't able to nail our goals for the tableau and the liqueur excerpt, we were able to smash our double tonguing goal and get it all the way to 112 BPM. And then here's sort of the best I could do with the liqueur number 20. This was around 80 BPM. I really need to work on taking out the metronome more throughout the week just so I can work with consistency of tempo. There were a few mistakes in here, but that's sort of how life goes. Thank you. 
and then here's sort of a polished cadenza of tableau movement five. Week five is now done and I can say I learned a lot this week. 30 minutes is plenty of time to get things done. However, it's not enough time to feel really good about those things. I think there's a good lesson to be learned here where if you only have 30 minutes of spare time, that is plenty of time to practice and you should definitely get your horn out and get to work. Just because you don't have the three hours like some people doesn't mean you can't get things done and work efficiently. I was able to surpass my double tonguing goal of 110 and we actually made it to 112. Next week, I really want to work on the endurance aspect of the double tonguing. I want to do it for longer periods of time instead of just like one set of 16th notes. For the Bouzé military band excerpt of the week, it didn't take a whole lot of work, but I'm glad I got to spend some time polishing it this week. Lacour number 20 really kicked my butt this week. It didn't really seem too hard at the beginning, working at a slow tempo, around 60 to 66. But then as we got towards the end of the week, I wasn't able to practice due to my schedule on Thursday and Friday. And on Saturday and Sunday, we sort of lost that consistency and I wasn't able to get it to that 88 tempo that I wanted to. I did end up taking the metronome out and performing it at 80, however. And then I ended up having the same sort of consistency issues as I worked on the Tableau Movement 5. I was able to get towards the end and learn the rest of it. I really wanted to be able to perform the whole movement, but as uh, time and scheduling didn't really work out, I wasn't able to work on it as much as I would like to have, um, so I preferred to sort of polish the cadenza section and then also the ending, and I'm glad I worked on that. I think that um, I'm now able to play it all the way through. I didn't actually get a recording of that, but I am able to play through the whole thing, and I'm happy with my work that I've done on that. I wanna thank you all again for tuning into week number five. If you've been enjoying the content over the last few weeks, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. We go again next week, peace.